Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to do number one on the general knowledge content test on the FTCs. This is a practice test for teachers in Florida that are preparing for the general knowledge exam for teacher certification. This is part of their, this is from their math portion of that exam. Now this is a really good uh, test to study if you're a teacher out there that needs some help with core math concepts. And it's going to help you whether you're in Florida or Massachusetts or California or New York, go through some of those core concepts. So let's take a closer look at this FTC math problem. It goes something like this. Identify the core prime factorization of 96. And then it has these answer choices. How would we get to 96? In a problem like this, it's sometimes good to slow down slow down and get really really picky. Now I know that the key here is prime factorization. I'm trying to do the prime factorization in 96. But before we even get to the prime factorization, slow down and review what exactly is a prime number and what exactly is a factor and what is prime factorization. This is where you're going to get the most mileage when you study these problems is pick, the, pick them apart. So let's start with a prime what makes a number prime? Uh, let's write down our, our integers. Our we're going to look at the whole numbers here. Whole numbers are integers starting with 0 that are, include 0 and the positive integer. So we'll do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, that's supposed to be a 7, 8, 9, 10, and I'll do 11. Now what makes this, uh, these are integers because they're divisible by 1 with no remainder. Now we're only dealing with 0 and the positive integers. So we call 0 and the positive integers whole numbers. Fair enough. So whole numbers start with 0 and the positive integers. Uh, there are negative integers, but uh, when, we're, when we're dealing with whole numbers only, we're just going to be dealing with positive, uh, positive uh, integers, okay? that you would find on a number line. What makes a number prime, it has to have two factors. And that means it has to be divisible by two whole numbers. For example, let's say number 2. Number 2 is our first prime number. Number 2 is divisible by 1, and it's divisible by itself. And this is actually the core, the core definition of a prime number. A number that's divisible by two different factors, 1 and itself. Are two different whole numbers, one in itself. And the same thing with three. It's divisible by two different whole numbers, one in itself. So this gets you to your definition of prime numbers. And if we were to follow this along, five also has two factors, one and five. Seven has one and seven. And 11 has one and 11, and we could continue. These are examples of prime numbers. Now, if we're talking about prime numbers, we should probably talk about composite numbers, like 4. What makes 4 composite? Well, the only difference between, a compo difference between a prime number and a composite number, a composite number is a, a number that has more than two factors. So that 4 can be divisible by 1 and 4 and 2. Or 9 can be divisible by uh, 1 and 9 and 3. So numbers like 4 and 9 and 8 and 6 um, and 10, these are all numbers that have more than, uh, more than two factors. All right? So we call those composite. All right, so this helps us review what a prime number is and what a composite number is and also helps us think about factors. Like, for example, let's say we took the, if we're, uh, let's say we took the, the number 12. Is this prime or composite? Well, does it have more than two factors? And the answer is yes. 12 is made up of 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. And what I meant by made up is it's divisible by 1 and 12, 2 and, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. These are, we could call these its uh, factor pairs. 12 has 6 factors. 6 numbers go into 12 evenly with no remainder. So uh, this helps us uh, review what factors are of a number. And... You notice how when I set this up, I made something called an upside-down rainbow. Um, like, for example, with 18, we'll do another one. 1, 
goes into 18, and 18 goes into 18. 2 and 9, 3 and 6. 18 has 6 factors, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 8. And I use something, when focusing in on factors here, I use something called an upside-down rainbow to help organize that information. Okay, great. So now we've reviewed prime numbers and factors and how to factor a number. Now let's look at prime factorization. And let's look at the prime factorization of 12 as our model number. If I wanted to find the prime factorization of 12, I would look to see what numbers multiply to get to 12. And we're only going to be focusing in on the prime ones. So let's say 2 times 6. Well, 2 times 6 gets 12. 2 is prime. So I'm going to, I'll circle that one there. And I leave it alone. Now what about 6? I want to break it up into its prime factors. So what two numbers multiply to get to 6? Well, that would be like 2 and 3. So if we could think about it, if you do 2 times 2 times 3, you get to 12. These are the prime factors that make up 12. So I could write the prime factorization of 12 as 2 times 2 times 3, or I could write it as 2 to the second times 3 to the first, always leading with the, with the smallest prime integers first, the 2s, the 3s, the 5s. Okay, so now let's do prime factorization of 96. Let's do that out, and then we'll be done, we'll, we'll move on. There's a lot more to prime factorization. This is just an intro video, everyone, okay? We're going to find the prime factorization of 96. What two numbers make up 96? Well, we could start with 2 times 48. Well, 2 is a prime factor, so we're going to leave it alone. Now, what numbers... It's 2 times 48 gets you to 96. What two numbers multiply to get to 48? Okay, that's something like, what, 6 times 8? Yeah, 6 times 8. Well, neither one of those are prime, so I'm going to keep on going. 6 can be multiplied by 2, which is prime, and 3. And 8, we could think of as, well, we could think of as 2 and 4. And I want to keep on going with the 4 because it's not quite a prime number yet. Uh, 2 and 2. So what am I left with? Well, I'm left with 96. We could think of as being made up of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 2s. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times, two times 1, 3. And the answer here would be D. Another way to express a prime factorization of 96 would have been to write 2 to the... Uh, to the uh, 2 to the 5th power times 3 to the 1st power. All right? Both of those are different ways you could express a prime factorization of 96, and this helps us get to the answer. All right, team, I hope you found this video helpful to review the core concepts of prime numbers, composite numbers, factors, and the bigger concept here of prime factorization. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Uh, we're hosting a whole bunch of new workshops this year in Florida for the FTCs and in Massachusetts for the MTELs in both math and uh, for the math and multi-subject exams. So you, so you can check those out if you want some more help in math or, or in you know English, science, and history. Definitely stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.